building a social network in Wix part four guys are you excited I hope you are I know this has been heavily requested let me start by apologizing I told you guys that I'd be uploading this series once a week and coming back to college has prohibited me a little bit um, with some time constraints of getting back to classes moving in uh, extracurricular organizations all that fun stuff so I apologize right off the bat for that what I will tell you is that I'm gonna work my hardest to get this next part for each new part of this building a social network in which series out as fast as possible you can count on at least two a month to come out so you can at least count on you know part five part six to come out between now and october um so so we can move on from that next thing is if you've been following along with me uh i've been still sending out my weekly emails each week you can get there from wixtrainingacademy.com. You can go to the blog, get started, sign up on the email list. But you're going to need to be here anyway because this is where you're going to access some of the code for today's video. So in today's video, we're going to work on creating the registration box for our social network in Wix. We're going to keep it very simple. We still have to build out our user statuses for our profile pages and still build out those profile pages. But... An important aspect to social network is actually having that registration uh, login or, or that registration page and also login. We're going to do login on a separate video where we're going to focus on, and that'll be in the next part, where we're going to focus on login and user statuses. So that's going to be a longer series video in that one. Um, so make sure you're aware to uh, set aside some time for that next part of our series. But for today, we're going to work on just the registration portion. So to access our code in the video that we're going to utilize, which I've created a couple videos on my YouTube channel just recently about these topics, um, you're going to come here to wixtrainingacademy.com, link in the description below. And if you're already a member on there first, congratulations, thumbs up to that. In fact, subscribe down below on YouTube if you're already a member of the Wix Training Academy and you click log in and that will prompt you to log in. However, if you're not one of our awesome members in the community yet, hit Academy and go ahead and register for the Witch Training Academy because you're gonna find the code we use in today's video, today's video on the other side of this registration light box. So I am a member, obviously, hopefully uh, I would be, <laughs> and I'm gonna go ahead and log in and show you how to access the code from today's video. So that way you can follow along completely. Um, let's see. Probably typed in my password wrong. Okay. There we go. So now we are redirected to the Witch Training Academy dashboard. Guys, feel free to go through here. You got a roadmap, a library full of webinars, courses, resources full of checklist courses, everything. By the way, the part four checklist will be on this resources page for this series, the masterminds community, all that good stuff. But to access the code snippets, we scroll down a little bit to this right side and click code snippets. And today, we are going to be used a lot, utilizing this custom registration light box code. We're going to press get code, and then we simply copy it from here and paste it into where I show you when we need it. But enough on that for the moment. That's how you access the code. Let's hop into our social network website. So I went ahead and marked this as home page since we don't have any content on it yet. And I also marked a testing page that we're going to use to utilize our whole registration process in this video um, so guys when building a registration page or light box you can choose one of those two methods they require the same page code and you're going to use the same fields but one is a page um, some of you may have a more interactive social network that you want to take them through a whole page personally i know you guys my audience that watches my stuff just wants to access that content as quick as possible so i just have a simple light box pops up they log in and then they access the wish training academy it doesn't really matter it comes down to preference and what you feel is going to be best for your audience in this video i'm going to show you the light box method uh, because that's the one i personally like to use but again if you want to go ahead and worry about designing a an actual login or registration page go for that now, for this in particular tutorial, we're going to be registering the user's email and password. It's going to be very simple. 
we may go back and actually add some more details like post registration so right after they register take them to a registration page where they input their first name all that good stuff where they actually build out their profile i haven't decided how we're going to go about doing that uh, as i said you guys are along with me i'm building this social network from scratch so things can change on a dime i'm kind of picturing like okay we need this we need this we need this and then if i do decide okay this is a big change I'll throw it in one of the parts of this series so that way you can see how we go about changing and executing that. So we have our home page here. I went ahead and created our light box already and I called it registration light box. It's right here. I built it out. It's very easy to do. To add a light box guys you go over here to add. You scroll down to light box. I started with this light box right here. You click that, you click on here. One of the big things you gotta do is um, when you click on the light box, go to the settings and make sure automatically display on light box pages is no. So that way, as soon as someone hits your website, the light box doesn't automatically pop up, but instead someone actually has to click a button. So maybe register and then it'll pop up. So it'll be on click. So when something, happens on click the function will be carried out open the light box simple as that and then I just dragged in a picture I created a blue box here just wrote register and then this is where we get into the details now so that code from the Wix training Academy you're gonna wanna, gonna want to copy that and paste that I have already pasted it here let me explain to you how this works what we need here is we need to actually go in here and set our fields so I'm gonna go ahead and delete these and show you how we go ahead and do that so we need two fields we need our email field and our password field to do that you're gonna come in here to add you're gonna go to user input you can choose which one of these text inputs you want I'm just gonna click this one I'm gonna drag it down obviously center it a little bit and then I'm gonna copy it and paste it and then we also need a button for the register now button so that way as soon as they click that the information is submitted to the Wix CRM and they are officially a registered site member um, so we'll just come down here to button and we'll click this button right here simple as that add it now what we need to do is we actually have to edit the settings for this field so we'll come into this first field, click settings, and we want to type to be email because we want it to come through in an email format because that's what has to be submitted into the Wix CRM, in email format. And then we're going to change the placeholder text to email. Then we're going to change the settings for this one, and we want the type to be password. This is in case someone's you know, watching over your shoulder or something like that. It creates those black little radio buttons each time you put in a new letter. So that way it keeps your password secret and protected. And we're just gonna put password right here. And those two are required fields. And then right here, we're just gonna name this register now. Now what we need to do is we need to start correlating these three fields with the code. So if you see right here, I would follow the names that I have used in my code so that way you can just simply follow along and these are the IDs that I would recommend using because it keeps everything pretty neat and pretty straightforward. So what we need to do is we need to assign an ID to each of these three fields. Why? Because as you can see in the code right here, when this button which the ID needs to be changed to register now is clicked, it needs to know what that register now ID is correlating to. So we're gonna change the button to register now. And then bam, just like that, we've got our button changed to register now. That correlates right here in the code. You can see our error disappeared for that. You now see there's an error right here for register email and an error right here for register password. The reason for that is because the inputs or the uh, field IDs don't correlate here with the code IDs. So we need to make sure they both correlate. So email, we're gonna go up here, gonna click email, 
and then we're going to go over here to our properties panel and we're going to change it to register email just as it is in the code and then if we click back down here you'll see that little red button disappeared from that one because the code now recognizes it correlates with this register email and we're going to do the same exact thing right here for password we're going to click register password and if we click back let's see here oh well let's make sure it's spelled right in our code register password and now you can see that red dot has disappeared because it correlates so now let me explain to you a little bit about how this code works what happens is essentially what this code is saying is it imports Wix user so it's importing from the Wix back end so when this is submitted it's importing into that and then the function is as soon as this button is clicked as soon as register now button is clicked on click let email whatever's in this field dot value and whatever's in password field dot value register Wix users dot register register an account as a site member and then once they've been registered take them to Wix location dot to backslash testing in this case you need to do whatever your page extension is that you're sending them to. So typically for our social network, it's going to be sent to a profile page. However, our profile page is not yet completely built out, which is why partially I'm saving the login uh, whole portion of this video to go with the user statuses and profile page completion because I want to show you how that works because right now we're gonna keep this testing um, the page extension is testing how we can tell what the page extension is go to the page you want to look at go here to your site menu testing go to page SEO and you'll see it's backslash testing so that's your page that you're sending them to okay and it is going to be different for each of you some of you are going to be sending them to a static page in this case we are not we're going to be sending them to our we are in this case we're sending them to the testing page however as soon as our profile pages are built out I'm going to show you in an update video how to change this so that it sends them to the correct profile page we're going to use the current user dot which are which users dot current user dot ID method and I'll show you how that works but at first we're going to use a static page for the purpose of explaining this video and then as soon as our profile pages are done and built out which we'll do in our next couple of parts in this series we'll go ahead and utilize those as well so we'll send it to testing and you saw that it was that testing page now we should be able to go ahead and press publish view site as soon as we get it and test this out so we're here at home oh yeah we obviously have to create a trigger for the light box to appear so let's just we're gonna use a sample piece of text here let's just go in here click this right here and then we'll just type in uh, register and then we'll link it to the registration light box just like that now if we click publish and view site what will happen is we'll click register it'll prompt our light box here our registration light box and we'll go test at testy.com and then we'll just go test one two three as a password now what should happen here is when I click register now one I should get a notification to my phone through the Wix app which if you don't have it I recommend you get the Wix app that says there's a new site member in my social network website and then as soon as that happens simultaneously we should be redirected to the testing page so let's see if that's what happens bingo so we're redirected there and we've got our notification right there that we were just became a member at social network which is what this is called and we were redirected to the testing page so now this person has officially become a site member of your social network we'll get into the login details and also building out those status pages and user statuses and profile pages 
in our next part of this series. Guys, if this video was help you, helpful, please throw me a thumbs up. Um, comment if you have any questions at all. I know you're probably already all anxious and excited to see part five of this series, which is going to be fun and exciting. Um, but until then, I appreciate your patience thus far and working with me. Uh, coming back to college has been fantastic, um, but it's definitely kept me a little bit more busy than I was in the summer uh, producing these videos each and every week. So I, I do appreciate your patience. Subscribe here if you haven't already, and don't forget to, to head over to the wakestrainingacademy.com so that way you can access the code we used in today's video. I appreciate all of you. I appreciate what you're doing for this community, and I appreciate you guys being part of my community. We have something special here, and it just continues to grow, and I love pushing this content out to you guys so that way you can continue to develop your skills and talents within Wix. Once again, I will catch you on our next video, which will be part five of building a social network in Wix. Check that resources page in the Wix Training Academy for the part four checklist that I will upload following this video. Thank you guys very much, and I will see you on the next one.